army is isolated, the Air Force broken, the Navy sunk. But one group is left to save Japan, the Kamikaze. Pilots pledge to crash themselves and their planes into enemy warships. The Japanese raise suicide to the status of a military tactic. Kamikaze pilots believe that by dying for the Emperor, they live forever. And some even attend their own funerals before the final takeoff. Some fly in their burial robes. All wear a sacred scarf, symbolizing their sacred mission. The pilots take their final vow. I am determined to destroy with my own body the enemy craft that menace our holy soil. I shall strike without returning. Farewell. We shall meet at the Yashikuni Shrine. At the Yashikuni Shrine, where the hero dead of Japan achieved godhood. It is April the 6th. From the island of Kyushu, 350 suicide planes take off for Okinawa. To those they leave behind, to the life they leave behind, one final government announcement. Valiantly, the young eagles dash forth to attack along a path from which there is no homecoming. Suicide pilots smash themselves against the invading ships. Human projectors conceived in a marriage of desperation and despair. Terror reigns in Lingayan Gulf as the kamikaze strike, and strike, and strike again. Uh, one time uh, I was sailing in convoy, and there was a whole bunch, you know, was going in line. A Japanese uh, kamikaze come right down the uh, middle of the line and veered off and turned off and, and uh, crashed into this other uh, ship. Well, this kid, uh, his name was Brooks, had transferred shortly over to that ship. Well, he was a radio man and he was killed. This was the opportunity the Japanese had been waiting for. The kamikaze pilots would trade a plane for a ship, trade suicide for glory. But the ships carry on. The kamikaze becomes the greatest threat encountered by the United States fleet in World War II. The suffering is terrible. The casualties worse. Everybody was shooting and we had a bunch of people, got, one guy got killed on our ship, friendly fire from other people shooting at us. A whole bunch on the bridge got shot. But uh, the point is, uh, they had an emergency radio in case something happened to our, our, uh, our radio. We had a radio station in, in the bowels of the ship. We hit Okinawa, and uh, Okinawa was finishing up with there again. We ran across the kamikazes in full, and we had uh, small, well, that was just unloading uh, uh, ships. The fighting was inland. There's lots of kamikazes coming in, and they, they, they had a big strike then. Night brings no respite, darkness no relief. The fantastic contest between those who fight to live and those who fight to die goes on around the clock. We had small boats that, uh, with pots on them, and they, at night and stuff, we, we, the whole place was just one smoky, oily uh, mess. We, uh, we were under smoke. And they would have pots of, I don't know what they did, but they uh, burned uh, smoke pots, and they would burn smoke so the, the whole bay would be smoke and you couldn't see the ships. In the fleet spread far and wide around and around Okinawa, scores of ships are destined to fall victim of suicide attack before the kamikazes have done their worst. Around the fleet, around the island, radar pickets are ringed. Watchdog destroyers, whose mission it is to detect oncoming Japanese planes. We of course had radar, and we would, uh, uh, there again I'm on the bridge now, 
and I, uh, you could see them coming in and uh, they let us know and then we'd have an alert, green alert or red alert or whatever. And then, then everybody would man their battle stations and the top to top. I was on this LST, we shot down, uh, they shot down, I think it was six or seven Japanese, not when I was on them, but they shot down one American when I was on them. We, they came over, the Americans come over in the morning. Uh, there must have been some new pilots uh, and uh, at GQ time and uh, right at, uh, the captain went nuts, he's a young guy. Uh, but they came over and our gun crew, I shouldn't laugh, it's, it, was, it was sad, but we shot them down. And they didn't, they have what they call IFF, they're supposed to, they didn't give their identification and uh, there was no, and these uh, pilots, these hot pilots or wherever they were, were coming in and one of them got shot down. Others come to the rescue. The risks of death are great, but the determination to save a shipmate is greater. Hundreds of sailors are trapped below. Others, hemmed in by flames, escape over the side. Okinawa was a lot of a lot of uh, kamikaze coming in. I forget how many uh, ships they sunk there. Of the 1,500 ships engaged in the campaign, 30 were sunk, 223 damaged. Eight carriers were hit, but all survived. More than 3,500 kamikaze planes were destroyed. The greatest suicide offensive in history waxed and waned and collapsed. Another thing with the, that LST thing, that's the first time I ran across, we, sa we sailed at night, total blackout, right? And across our path, came a hospital ship. Scary, it was all lit up. All lit up in the middle of the night and 